And the soldier I was talking to was talking about D-Day, Omaha Beach. And if I tell you who it is, you'd know it, but I ain't gonna tell you. That's true. Those guys have come and seen things so you and I can sit up here now, say whatever we want to say, to the glory of God. So I'll give them praise and give them love. See, this is what we have, except the Lord build the house. That's all of us. They labor in things that build it, except, I mean, there ain't, ain't, no, ain't no middle ground. The Lord keep the city. The etymology says, I keep your mind. But see, who's got to keep the mind? God has to. Sometimes he will reveal some things, and I look at the people that that spirit be coming to, I say, in my own heart, how can they be deceived like that? I ain't going to tell them that. I just start rebuking them spirits. Okay? Listen to this. Lord, him. Except they labor in vain that build it, except the Lord build and keep the city. The watchman waketh but in vain. That's one thing God ain't going to lay on my shoulders. I'm going to make sure I do the best I can. I know I ain't perfect, but I'm going to tell you what it said. Amen. I ain't going to wait to the last. It is vain for you to rise up early, sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrow, for so he giveth his love beloved sleep. Understand what that means. Why are you sitting up there crying in the fear, some folk call it? Well. Got a loaf of bread on your arm and you're just so pitiful. You uphold me back to God and say, wait a minute. What you up there doing that for? Go to sleep. I got your back. Amen. Hey, let them other folks say they got your back and you don't see them no more. Yeah. Here again, it is in vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrow. He said, but I want to give you a garment of praise for the spirit of heaven. Is anybody reading the Bible? Okay, I'm going to make sure. Okay. Lord, he loves his children too. Children are a heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows, this is to the mothers and fathers and the preachers up there. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemy in the gate. Have mercy. Now maybe y'all don't understand why I was calling my babies. It's a blessing to have children in the church. Yes, it is, Pastor. Now, the etymology of this, what we supposed to do, we supposed to aim them down there on Booker Willie Boulevard, are we supposed to aim where they can get some something up in his head, learn about his word? There shouldn't be a child in this in this church should not go to college. There's no reason for him not to. You got enough word in you that you'll pass everything. And that's my challenge. I want every last one of you to go. Amen. Stand to your feet. I'm just going to have prayer and inquire and come. Or they, I know they're in a hurry. they got to get somewhere. Okay. This Stand to your feet. Keep in mind now, we just started our first installment. It is so much on there. I'm not going to try to overload your donkey, but I'm going to try to give you those things that will bless you as the Lord give them to me. Keep in mind, some things you got to watch now. The enemy is busy drawing. I said the enemy is busy drawing. Father, we thank you for the word peace, that we get a full understanding. Just like you told them at the cross, behold, my mother. Then at once say you say, behold, who is my mother? Yes, Lord. Or who is my brother or sister? Those that do the will of my father. I pray that for all that are here, that they get their eyes off of what the world didn't say they couldn't have it but it's not supposed to come before God. Amen. Amen. Because he's the only one who has dominion over peace. Yes, Lord. You cannot get it any other way. No, no, Lord. no. no way. He says if you try to come up through the gate any other way, you're a thief mm -hmm. and a robber. Mm -hmm. 
we must come in by the gate. Yes, Lord. And that shepherd knows his sheep. Yes, Lord. And, and the Bible right. says, and their sheep know All him. Right. All right. And a stranger's yes, voice. They will not follow. Yes, Lord. Now, Father, I pray that for all of the sound of my voice, that they will hear you, not me. That they will understand that you got everything in order. That all they got to do is accept Jesus, live for you, and what they don't understand, like your word says, if you lack wisdom, ask God. Bless, Father, all your children. Give the choir power, Lord, that they will sing to you. Don't even let them see nobody out there. Let them only see you. And whatever we do, one of my favorites, whatever we do, do it all to the glory of God. Father, we thank and praise you. In Yeshua's name we do pray. Amen. Amen.